Kitty Fitness Hub. I'm Emma. I'm Katie. And we are just going to give you a very quick overview of the equipment that you will need if you're going to take part in our Fit for Festivities Challenge. So the bare minimum mm. that you will need for this to work successfully are the following uh, weights and other bits and bobs. So starting with kettlebells. Yeah, I think uh, for much of the leg exercises we probably need one big weight. So a big weight that you can use quite repetitively, it's not, it's not too big that you can't get beyond say 12 or 15 reps with it. Okay. So comfortably heavy. Yes, suggest. So that might mean you need to go into a shop and stand with a weight and do a few squats and yeah. decide whether you think that feels heavy or not to you. <laughs> As a bit of a ballpark figure, if you are coming at this fairly new, we would say somewhere in the region of eight kilograms. Yeah. That that would be ample. Um, and Katie, obviously, we've got a selection, haven't we? But sort of eight and we mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and, and just the, the higher, uh, the heavier the weight, the fewer the reps you'll be, um, you'll be completing. So what's um, that one? So this one's a 16. Mm -hmm. um, often you get metal weights and they're obviously pretty dense. Sometimes you get something that looks as big as this, but it's actually only a six because it's possibly plastic and filled with sand yeah. and stuff. So that's why you um, you will probably need to, you can't just go by what you can see on the shelves in the shop, you would need to try it, it out. And yeah, and you'll get what you pay for. So like Katie yeah. says, the, the, the ones that are made of the dense stuff that are a little bit more compact will usually cost a little bit more. Yeah. The good news is the weights are all back in They're stock. Um, oh gosh, we just had a quick look before we... Uh... So this is for our British, um, yeah. <laughs> our British viewers. Anybody that lives overseas won't even know what Argos is. But... Argos is great, they've got quite a lot in. They've also got the hand weights in, so the dumbbells mm -hmm. in lots of different sizes and uh, quite reasonable as well. So we've just looked And at Aldi, if you hit the middle aisle, oh, if you're yeah. lucky, you Lovely. might find some there as well. Um, and of course, although we don't like to send all our customers to Amazon, you'll usually find them on Amazon as well. Yeah, definitely. So, outside of your kettlebell, if you're going to get just one kettlebell, you need to decide what weight's right for you and go heavy. And then you want a pair of dumbbells whose combined weight is less. I would say less than the, the heavy kettlebell. kettlebell that you have. Yeah. Um, you can get away with, with um, if, if you did go a bit heavier on the hand weight, you can then use that as your heavy weight, but actually you don't want to overstrain. Um, and uh, so these need choosing quite carefully, don't they? Yes. The hand weights. Yeah, and there will be some exercises where you do want a lighter weight and you would be able to use just one of your dumbbells but perhaps not in yeah. place of the kettlebell because it wouldn't be as heavy as your kettlebell. Yeah, definitely. So heavy kettlebell, moderate weight, pair of dumbbells, and then after that really, other than a mat to lay on just for comfort, but to be honest, if you lay on your carpet, obviously right. fine, just don't give yourself any friction burns. <laughs> that would be the only thing. Um, and then these bands, again, very easy to come by in most sports shops, decathlon, places like that all have them. If you're just going to buy one, get one that's the long ones like this, rather than one that is already in a loop, because some of the exercises require you to have it um, long and straight. And then all you would do is tie it into a knot uh, to make it into a loop for the exercises that require I think that. they're really easy to get hold of. And yeah. They generally come in packs of three, and there are three different resistances. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that, that should, uh, should cover it. Probably and then outside of that, uh, some of the exercises, uh, for example, tricep ditch, you'll just be resting on um, a bit of furniture, so a chair, a settee. Um, something like that, so yeah. don't go out and buy one of those, especially. Yeah, we'll go <laughs> just use one squats, that would just be a chair again. To pop your yeah. foot on. Yeah. Nothing fancy there. Um, obviously, you might start with Birmingham. You might have all this stuff at home, and then it's just a case of selecting the right one as we go through the workout itself. Absolutely. And like we always say, there are, there are things that you could improvise with, um, household objects, but to get the best out of this, then having those weights that we just suggested will massively help. However, you can usually find household objects that could, that could work for some of the exercises yeah. in place of the weights. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. 
Yeah. So we're giving you prior, prior warning there so that you can go and get yourself organised and you're ready to go when we start this challenge um, in just over a week's time. Brilliant. Okay, all right, thank, thank you for so watching. Much. Yeah, see you soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye.